In this session, we will demonstrate the pull and push process for the Universal Connector Container Image for the BMC AMI DevOps for DB2 and BMC AMI SQL Assurance for DB2 products. Start by extracting the Universal Connector Product zip file downloaded from Electronic Product Distribution website to a directory of your choice. Expand the unzipped product folder to display the download script. The download script runs the pull for the Universal Connector Container Image from containers.bmc.com. The script name for BMC Amy SQL Assurance for DB2 is download-sa-image.sh, and the script name for BMC Amy DevOps for DB2 is download-image.sh. Now copy the download script and the container-token.bmc access token, which you downloaded earlier, to a directory on your Linux system where you will run the script. In this example, I am using WinSCP, a SSH file transfer protocol tool, which allows you to copy files from a PC to a Linux system. Docker must be installed on your Linux VM to process the pull and push of your image. Before running the download script, give the download script run permissions. In this example, I am using the PuTTY terminal emulator to issue commands on the Linux system. PuTTY is a command line interface which supports the secure socket shell, SSH, network protocol, but there are other tools with this same functionality that can be used. Go to your Linux system's directory, where the container access token and download script reside, you need to modify the permissions with the change mode command shown here. Verify whether the download script has permission to run with the ls-l command. Here it displays the x permission for the download script. Run the download script by entering the registered email ID associated with your BMC support account in the command. Now we will issue the command to tag the downloaded BMC image from the containers. .bmc.com directory with your container registry host directory and new image tag name. It is best practice to consult with your container registry administrator on the image name. To verify that the image was tagged successfully, you can issue a docker images list command for the docker image. Here it shows the container registry directory and image name used in the tag command. If you are not pushing the image to a private container registry, skip this step. If you are pushing the new tag to a private container registry, you must perform the Docker login to the private container registry before pushing the image. This requires running the Docker login command with a container registry user ID, password or token, and the container registry host name. We recommend consulting with your container registry administrator about the Docker login. Issue the Docker push command for the newly tagged image to push to your container registry. If the Docker push is successful, the image digest and size are displayed in the last line. Log into your container registry to confirm the availability of the Docker image. Now that the image is available in the container registry, the image can be used in the pipeline and workflow when running BMC AMI DevOps for DB2 and BMC AMI SQL Assurance for DB2. Thank you for your time. For more information about any BMC mainframe product, check the video description for links to the documentation and other related videos.